Hey y'all, it's Coach K and I want to welcome you to episode 56 of the Stimulus Package. Today, we're talking about contributions. Alright, so I am a firm believer that our decisions and our choices have a major effect on our quality of life. And some of the things that we do can really cause a domino effect of things to happen that really can like shift some things. And the way that we make decisions, uh, the way we think about things has a lot to do with our experiences, our uh, mentality, the things we've seen, the people who are around us, just like in general, the influences that we have in our lives. And I think it's, important to say that if we're not careful, if we're not around the right people, if we're not in the right space, we can cause ourselves to make decisions that will contribute to a lifestyle that we do not want. (laughs) And I think that God actually, um, I think that God thought about this and knew that we would need an advocate and we would need extra help in this world of sin. Like, I think he understood that we were going to have to fight against forces that we can't see and he he displayed that by first of all sending Jesus Christ down here to become like us and become our Lord and Savior and die for our sins he showed us that he understood that by that act of kindness and selflessness but he took it a step further by giving us the opportunity to have access to the Holy Spirit now The one thing about the Holy Spirit and everything that God does, he gives us free will, which means that he wants us to choose him, but he's not going to force himself on us, right? God has, has given us access to the Holy Spirit, but it's up to us to invite the Holy Spirit in, just like it's up to us to accept that Jesus is our Lord and Savior, right? And I think a lot of us don't understand the Holy Spirit or we don't invite him in because we don't understand his purpose. We don't understand who he is and what he does and why it's important to have the Holy Spirit. So allow me to express (laughs) why I believe it's important. And also, um, I want you to go check out the Upgrade sermon series by Pastor Michael Todd of Transformation Church and the Respectfully sermon series by Pastor Darius Daniels of Change Church. These two sermon series will give you a great baseline for um, the Holy Spirit and understanding what the who the Holy Spirit is, what he does, and like just give you all the information that you need to further research yourself and just understand the Holy Spirit a lot more. But let me get back to what I was saying. I truly believe that the Holy Spirit was offered to us because God knew that this world was crazy full of sin, full of pain, full of all kinds of things. And he wanted us to have someone that would be in our ear to help us um, navigate this crazy world. And the Holy Spirit is that voice in our head that tells us, turn right, don't go left, or, you know, stay at home, don't go to that party, or you don't need to do this. You have other options. He's that gut feeling that you get when you are about to make a decision that could really change your entire life. Um, the Holy Spirit gives insight and wisdom. And I personally can't do anything without the Holy Spirit. I can't do anything without Jesus Christ, and I can't do anything without God. All in one. Like, I cannot live the life that I live without access to God. And so I just want to encourage you all to watch those sermon series that I suggested And also talk to God, pray to God about the Holy Spirit. The word says that once you invite the Holy Spirit in, you get to experience the fruits of the Spirit. So the fruits of the Spirit are evidence that the Holy Spirit dwells inside of you. So so if you experience love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control, you you have evidence that the Holy Spirit lives within you. Because in this crazy world, in the things that we deal with daily, it's almost impossible to have to experience these things on your own strength. I could never do that on my own strength. I know that it's a gift from God, and I know that it's the Holy Spirit working within me that gives me the strength to make good decisions, even when my flesh tells me to make a bad decision, even when my flesh tells me that we're going to cuss them out today. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I have the thought, but the Holy Spirit combats that thought and tells me that ain't you no more. You can't do that. Like, or if you do have a weak moment and you do it, the Holy Spirit tells you that, you know, God's grace renews every day. And so he just lets, reassures you that you are still good with God. You just have to repent and do what you need to do. Like he gives you that, that encouragement and that strength to continue to push on and progress even when you make mistakes. So this week, I just want to encourage you to watch those sermon series, first of all. Second of all, pray about the Holy Spirit. Ask God to reveal um, more insight about the Holy Spirit to you. Um, read Ephesians 5 and make sure that you um, really think about the decisions that you make and the contributions that you give to your life and others. Um, God has invested a lot in us. He has planted many seeds and done many things. And I don't know about you, but personally, I want to make sure that I give God the greatest return on investment by living the best life I can live and by inspiring other people to live a life of freedom, spiritually, mentally, physically, just like a life of freedom that allows them to experience God in his wholeness and not just a portion of God on a Sunday. So I hope that the way that I live my life helps you um, to see that God is real and that um, although we struggle, God still loves us. And I pray that you are um, encouraged to continue to forge forward and just like do what you know is right. And remember that it's bigger than you. It's not just about you. Um, we are interconnected. <laughs> like we need each other. Like we need to help each other. And we have to learn how to live and coexist respectfully, peacefully, and cohesively. And the first step to doing that is understanding who you are in Christ, accepting Christ, <laughs> and ultimately also inviting the Holy Spirit in to help you navigate this craziness we call the world. Until next time, stay focused, trust God, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. Be sure to come follow us at Level 27 Coaching on all social media platforms and join our Spark Plug Club at www.level27coaching.com. Be sure to come check out our podcast every Wednesday on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all other podcast platforms. Um, I love y'all. I pray that you have a great week. Be blessed and have a great week. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.